list of iconic actors who passed away today, April 11, 2024. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works and today unfortunately ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace. But first, we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Unfortunately, the renowned 97-year-old actor, Eckhart Dux, passed away this Thursday, April 11th. Eckhart Dux is considered one of the most important voice actors in German-speaking countries. He lent his voice to Peter Fonda, Frank Sinatra, and Jerry Stiller. His death was reported by the German press agency, signing audio record label Europa. Dux was considered one of the most important voice actors in German-speaking countries. Dux made his acting debut in 1948 at the Berlin Renaissance Theater. One of his most famous films was the Deaf A Fairy Tale The Singing, Sounding Tree, in which he played the prince. Among other things, he voiced Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates in the horror classic Psycho. Dux also nicknamed Steve Martin. In the 80s action series The A-Team, he lent his voice to American actor George Peppard, also known as Hannibal. In the Hobbit trilogy, Dux voiced 2000 SIXS Gandalf actor Ian McKellen. After his debut at the Renaissance Theatre, the Berliner was seen for the first time in Defa film productions. Dux later appeared in several television roles. He has cult status among radio fans. He appeared several times in the series OS Trace. The actor was a regular spokesperson for Anthony Perkins, for example in his role as Norman Bates in the horror classic Psycho. He also frequently nicknamed Steve Martin, for example in Solo for Two. He was also heard in the 80s action series The A-Team as the voice of American actor George Peppard, also known as Hannibal. A notable early work was Jerry Stiller's voiceover work as the grumpy Arthur in the American sitcom King of Queens. In The Hobbit films, Dux voiced Gandalf actor Ian McKellen. Really sitting. Condolences to the family at this sorry time. Rest in peace. Very sad. On the morning of this Friday, April 5th, the renowned and much-loved 83-year-old actress, Vera Chekova, passed away. According to her advisor, she passed away in Berlin due to an illness that she had been facing for some time. Chekova appeared in almost 100 roles until the 1990s. Verit Shekowa received the Federal Film Prize in 1962 for the film adaptation of Bowles' The Bread of Early Years. Chechowa began her film career in 1956 as Heinz Erhardt's cinematic daughter in The Widower with Five Daughters. She played her first leading role in 1957, in Still a Minor, alongside Paula Wesley. She originally wanted to become a set designer. She learned the art of acting in Berlin and Munich. His film career began in 1956 in Heinz Erhardt's Widower with Five Daughters, a typical film of the economic miracle era. A meeting with Elvis Presley also occurred during this time. Young Chekova was once brought as salsa to a photo shoot with Elvis when he was working as an American soldier in Bad Nauheim. Chekova also had a career in theater. She played on stages in Berlin, Hamburg and Munich, among others. With her husband Vadim Glona she also founded the production company Atasa Film GmbH, which carried out Glona's directorial work. Chekova was born on July 22, 1940 in Berlin, the daughter of actress and film director Ada Chekova and Dr. Wilhelm Rust. Her grandmother was film actress Olga Chekova. 
the well-known Russian poet Anton Chekhov was Vera Chekhova's great-granduncle. Really regrettable. We send our sincere condolences to the friends, fans, and family of the veteran actress. May he rest in peace. Goodbye. Unfortunately, very sad, the dear and beloved actress, Bahar Austin, passed away at the age of 61, this Friday morning. The information of his death was announced by his son Yajit Kalik in a post on his social media account. The unforgettable actress had already defeated colon cancer three times, for which she had been being treated for a long time, but unfortunately, she could not resist the cancer in a prolonged state. Bahar Austin was born on August 11, 1962 in Iskenderun. She began her artistic life appearing in commercials. Shortly afterwards, she began her film career with the film Confused Millionaire. He also received wide acclaim in the popular photo novels of the time. Some of them are photo novels with Charlie's Angels and Bari's Manko. It didn't take long for Bahar Austin, admired by everyone, to catch the attention of producers. Bahar Austin became one of the most important actresses in Yeselkam, nicknamed Dimpled Beauty. The artist, who began to constantly receive stage offers, began working with Bulan Ersoy in public concerts and with Seda Sion at the Izmar Fair for the first time in 1987. From that day on, she continued her stage work both in the country like abroad. In 1991, it began operating the Spring Hotel Boutique Hotel in Bodrum Yalakavak. They married in 1993 and had a son two years later. In 1999, she opened a kindergarten called Prince Princess in Bodrum. He went to America in 2001. Really very sad. Rest in peace. Goodbye. Unfortunately, she passed away in the early hours of the morning. Sarah Ann Shaw, a WBZ TV legend and Boston's first black TV reporter, died Thursday. She was 90 years old. She began her TV news career at WBZ in October 1969 and spent 31 years at the station as a general assignment reporter. Shaw also anchored public affairs programs for WBZ and spent much of his time with civil rights and social service organizations. The president and general manager of TV, Justin Draper, mourned her death through a statement on social media. We are deeply saddened by the passing of Sarah Ann Shaw, WBZ Boston's first black reporter. Her pioneering spirit, dedication to journalism and commitment to amplifying marginalized voices have left an indelible mark on our industry and community, WBZ. Sarah Ann's fearless pursuit of truth and unwavering advocacy for social justice has set a standard of excellence that will continue to inspire generations to come. Our thoughts are with her loved ones during this difficult time and we honor her legacy. She brought a belief to her work in broadcast journalism that continuous hard work on any issue will bring change. People were just waking up to the fact that there was an underserved community and they needed to be recognized in a way that was in parallel, on the same level, with everyone else, the late veteran WBZ TV reporter Charles Austin. In an interview, very sad, we mourn her passing. She was much loved and will be greatly missed. May she rest in peace. Unfortunately, sad news. This time, a famous Brazilian gospel singer died. This early Wednesday, March 13th, the singer of just 20 years old, 
Deborah Borges Inacerdo Santo, passed away. According to family information, the famous singer died away due to complications from tuberculosis. Her husband, Gustavo mourned her death on social media. Maybe they won't see much of me for now, I need to breathe and understand this process. Pray for me, for Jade, for our family. See you soon, my love. Jesus is coming, he said devastated. Her husband Gustavo Carnero, also 20 years old, used his Instagram account to share family moments and talked about his wife's struggle. In a recent post, he said, This is a time of great difficulty in your life, but I know that what God has for you is much greater than any difficulty. Our family is firm on the rock, and nothing will shake us, he said in a post two weeks ago. According to information from Folha de Vitoria, Deborah spent the last four months fighting the disease, but couldn't resist this weekend, when she went into cardiac arrest. Deborah and Gustavo got married in October 2022 and lived in Cariasica, in Greater Vitoria, and are parents of Jade Borges Carnero. In March 2023, the couple discovered the pregnancy. During pregnancy, however, the young woman took precautions due to some complications. The young singer left behind her husband and a just five-month-old daughter, Jade. Unfortunately very sad. The famous singer was very young and had her whole life ahead. We send condolences to family and friends. Rest in peace.